Yo, uh, I'm Marius, and this is my 12 month uh, progress video. Uh, take two. I already <laughs> recorded it once, uh, but it was a format that, uh, well, was kind of clunky, so we're trying again. Um, yeah, uh, this is my one year progress video. I'm going to mainly be focusing on what I'm able to do, what I'm not able to do, and not so much on exactly what I've been doing. Uh, if there's anything you're wondering about, you can add me on Discord and ask me there. Because I'm not really using this YouTube account, so I can't really... I'm not going to reply to... Well, I might reply to some comments, uh, but um, probably not that many, because I'm not going to watch this video many times after, <laughs> after I upload it. Anyway, I made a PowerPoint presentation in order to not like stray too far off the subject uh, I'm talking about and topic. Uh, so it feels like I'm back in high school. I haven't made a PowerPoint presentation in 10 years, probably. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, look, I have a pointer. That's pretty cool. Um, so my, uh, in, in order to like evaluate my progress, you kind of have to see my how much I've been doing, how much I've been immersing each day. Because if I've been immersing for a year and immerse like 30 minutes each day, that would mean and I'm not very good, or I'm really, really good if, <laughs> if I immerse 30 minutes a day and, and this was my level, but no, I think the average is probably like six six hours. I went really hardcore in the beginning, like I had like 10 hour plus days, but now I'm I'm, I'm leaning more towards like having yeah, having five hours as a goal. I think, I think that's uh, my goal and I always do, I, I do more if I feel like it, um, if I'm having fun, and of course I'll do more. Um, but uh, I'll do more things that I want to do as well like I'll hang out with friends if they ask me and stuff like that so it's not it's not consumed my life completely but it has consumed basically all my other hobbies and uh, to be fair it's a pretty fun hobby to do now that you can like to to see progress is really really satisfying so I, yeah uh, this this is how many Yankee, Yankee cards I have uh, I have a total of about 4,000 cards, but my Morphman K value, which is the amount of morphemes that I know, which is like uh, a lot of it, a lot of its names and like interjections and stuff like that, plus katakana words that I already know from English. So yeah, that's it's like over 5k there, and that's the the the, the words the thing that it used for like the readability analyzer. Mm -hmm. And I also to say, like, the, look how many cards are retired. It's uh, that I don't. It's amazing. It really has reduced reduced my workload by a little bit. Feels good. Mm, yeah, you can't really see the stats here because I'm too big. Ooh, there we go. I'm tiny in the corner now. Um. So yeah, my my like uh, young retention rate has really increased by a lot. Um, lately. And just by like knowing more readings of kanji i think and, and stuff like that i was really complaining about that in the last video that i couldn't i couldn't get words to stick for some reason um it has become a lot better I still have problems with some words of course um but i think um it's, it's definitely got a lot better and my retention rate is is around 90 percent for mature cards as well so so i'm, I'm, I'm actually incredibly satisfied with these uh, these numbers and I'm not planning on changing anything at all. Um, might as well like mention what kind of cards I've been doing. Um, I started out with like the Tango and Fiber deck and I did uh, those, I did that with like reading and listening and then I did the Tango and Four deck with exclusively um, reading and then I kept mining exclusive like uh, reading cards but with audio on the background yeah, in the background, on the back, sorry. And after that, I, I, I did a li little bit of like dual cards again with reading and listening. And now I'm doing, I'm doing like a little bit of both. I'm doing some listening cards, some reading cards, uh, but, but very few dual cards anymore. Just either exclusive listening or exclusive reading. Like, yeah, because I, I find that it doesn't really matter <laughs> that much. It's just like a, a little bit of a boost, uh, Anki. 
So what really matters is, uh, is of course, immersion. So, yeah. I'm gonna make myself bigger again. Ooh. Uh, yeah, these these are the books I read. Um, oh yeah, I started out with these this series here, uh, really early. Like, um, I don't think anyone should start reading that early because when I read the first book, it probably took me like three months, <laughs> uh, and it was incredibly painful. I I time boxed it and I tried to do an hour a day, but I on most days I kind of want to skip it. But I mean, I got through it in the end, and uh, the next book was still painful but easier. And then the two next ones were they got a lot better. I think I got my Kindle like around the around the third book here. Sorry, did you hear that sound by the way? It's my my origin. Sorry about that. Yeah, Kindle here, and then I yeah I completed the first four volumes of the series. Um, it really helped to have like. I knew what was kind of going on because I've seen the the anime adaptation of it, so yeah, it really it really helped, and, and definitely got a lot better as I as I moved on. Uh, so I decided to like, yeah, I didn't understand most of like the first couple of books, and then I understood some of these. I could I could always follow sort of what was going on, but it was really hard, and then I got these books fucking origin again sorry and then I got these books and uh, read those they were it's like a spin-off to a manga that I've read they were, they were pretty easy to follow pretty easy to follow um, very simple language not much like the the other books had like an, a supernatural element to them but uh, the, the those two didn't and they were just very common everyday language and I read those in like both of them in like about a month I think well like the first four took like uh, probably like six months so that was really really slow most of it on the first book of course uh, yeah and then then I I stumbled across uh, this one like a friend uh, and recommended it well he didn't recommend it he said that it existed he didn't complete it himself uh, but it, w it was free on like Amazon uh, Unlimited, so I, I yeah, so I picked it up uh, and I completed it in two days. And it's like 180 pages or something like that, so it's like a kind of short light novel. But well, <laughs> I read like six hours a day, um, and I, well, it wasn't that great. Like <laughs> it was okay. Uh, it was pretty, it's pretty smutty, you know. Um, after that, I went on to read uh, another book by the same author. Both of those, na those names are ridiculous, by the way. I I'm not going to try to read them or anything, but they're, <laughs> they're ridiculous. Um, yeah, and I didn't finish that as quickly because I, well, the it wasn't that fun anymore. Um, but it took like two, two, three weeks or something like that. Two weeks, I guess. And uh, then I decided I didn't want to read like smutty books anymore. I wanted to read like normal ish books, light novels. So I ended up on, on this this series, which is it's the same author as uh, as this series, which is um, like a spin off to Agatha Kimini Nair. And and then um, yeah. They they are pretty simple. Like I can get through I, I finished uh, those two books in like a month or something like that as well. Uh, maybe less even. Yeah, probably a bit less. Um, and uh, they're pretty, pretty straightforward. And, and I feel like the I have there's been like a constant improvement all the way, of course. But the most um, the thing that I noticed most is that I'm able to filter sentences that I don't really need to understand in order to understand the story. I can just sort of filter those out and and um, not try to understand them that hard if they're difficult I, I can still do it if I want to um, I have an example from like the, the second book here it's like a scene where they talk about throwing a boomerang and it's very like it's very it's described how she's throwing a boomerang uh, like what angle she's holding it and stuff like that and I sort of and like 
I don't really need to to read this, do I? I mean, I don't really need to understand this, so I'm not going to look up every single word there and try really hard to understand it. I'm just going to skim through it and get what I get and sort of know what it was about, but not the details. And that's something that's uh, it's a really good skill. It, I guess it just happened naturally. Sorry, someone's really bothering me on origin. Um, yeah, this is a great, great picture I made in, in paint. Uh, Kindle, <laughs> Kindle is really, it's really great. I would highly recommend getting one if you're planning on jumping into reading Japanese books. Uh, I, I guess you could also just read on your computer, but reading on your computer is, uh, is not a, it's not as comfortable as lying in bed reading, you know. So yeah, praise, praise Lord Kindle. This is the stuff I've been watching lately. Um, uh, pretty like basic stuff mostly but the thing is I I've noticed a trend like the first the first episodes are usually really not really hard but they're kind of hard because I'm not into the story and there's a lot of things being introduced and I might not care that much about it so I might phase out I might zone out I mean and uh, yeah that definitely happened in, uh, in this this row here um, it got pretty easy after a while. There's still still like some things that are hard, but it got pretty easy after a while. Um, and then I went back and watched the first few episodes, and then I understood more of them. So you know, it's I feel like my my comprehension of this was like eighty to ninety, like eighty five ish. And there's uh, this show Hyoka, pretty pretty well known Kyoto Animation. Um, I haven't completed it yet. I watched, uh, I'd say. 10 episodes or something and it's uh, it was really hard to begin with like I watched the first three episodes and I didn't I felt like I, I missed out on so much and I watched them with subs uh, of course not English with the Japanese subs and I looked at words and it felt and I sort of like gained the basis of this this show so that I could understand more uh, understand it more easily and then sort of kind of transferred through the the other episodes I've been watching I feel like I definitely understand more of it now I feel like I can follow along with what's happening what's going on because I was I was struggling in the first episode or two because there is actually something happening in Hyoka uh, <laughs> it's like uh, something to follow along with I really really enjoyed it so far and then there's uh, this this next show that was um, it's also pretty pretty easy to follow along it's a pretty good show as well if you like Nichijo and, and stuff like that, it's, it's the same, just a bit worse. But I mean, <laughs> yeah, mm. uh, it was pretty easy to follow along, apart from, of course, the, the Junibyo character, which it's impossible to comprehend <laughs> most of the time. Uh, yeah, and then there's this uh, this next uh, thing here, which was also like the same same thing. I feel like that's that's the trend here. It was hard. The first kind of episodes, are, first few episodes are hard, and then it gets easier. And uh, because I get more invested into it, and I, I want to understand, so that that's the same thing there. Like, I'd say like ninety-ish, maybe. And then Monogatari, of course. I feel like I, 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 if I really paid attention, I could understand eighty, eighty percent maybe. But it's it requires like focus, really, really hard focus, because if you if you sort of phase out and you you don't pay attention for a little while getting back in is is, is tough man it's really hard uh, therefore i haven't been watching much of it because it feels feels oh, you know like i have to work it doesn't feel like just relaxing and watching some anime uh, like non biori which is the complete opposite i feel like i <laughs> i fully comprehend it now even though there's of course words here and there that i don't understand but the thing is like when it's very comprehensible, it becomes very clear what words I don't understand. But when it's at like 80, 70, 80 percent, then it's it's not that clear which words I don't understand and which I do understand. It becomes very blurry. It's like I you just don't understand what they're talking about some of the time. But with with things that are very simple, you kind of the the words you don't know they stick out really really sick out 
Um, this next one, uh, this one here, something that I kind of, well, it was really trashy, first of all. <coughs> and uh, it's, I, I kind of understood it, but then I, I stopped caring and I didn't understand it and become more like a background immersion type of thing. Uh, but I mean, uh, 80, everything is loud, it's <laughs> like 80%, but 80 is not, it's not good enough, 80 is like, <coughs> you're missing out on so much with 80%. And, and then these two are it's, it's like the same series. Um, they feel really comprehensible. It's very like everyday speech. Um, but like some music uh, lingo, I guess. But you, once again, you don't really need to know it. Um, it doesn't feel like it's hindering me from understanding what's going on, even though you're talking about speed of something in music term that I don't know, <laughs> etc. They're really good, by the way. It looks amazing, both of them. The movie has a really cool style to it, and so does like the show itself. It's really good. I recommend it. And next is uh, is this show, which is like uh, I don't know. It was really really nice. Once again, I had a bit of a struggle keeping up with the first few episodes. Watched a few episodes with JP subs, then got kind of back into it. It's like a twenty four um, episode show. So like the the last twelve episodes felt really comprehensible, felt really good. I would say like ninety percent there and like eighty percent before. Uh, once again, like watching stuff with subs, it drastically increases how much I understand things. Uh, so I'm trying to not tweak too much, but then again, if I'm like, if watching with subs increases my comprehension by so much, then it's it's really a lot more. Yeah, what do you call it? A lot more pleasant to watch with subs. And this next show, uh, it's uh, Itori Bochi. Uh, no matter what it is, it's is pretty, pretty comprehensible. Like one of the simplest shows I've seen. It's, but it's, uh, it's surprisingly fun as well. It's, it's uh, one of the one high class, uh, cute girls doing cute things show. So I, I'd recommend that. And it's very, very comprehensible for me. I, I felt like I understood, of course, as with everything else I'm saying, like, oh yeah, I understood it completely. There's always words going over my head and things going over my head at this point, but it doesn't feel that way. <laughs> so therefore it's, it feels really comprehensible. And uh, I, I can always like say these about things that I've watched multiple times, because I've watched Toribuchi, Toribuchi uh, two times now. And I feel like I understand it really well. I like understand a lot the first time as well, honestly. I remember that. That was when it aired. That was quite a while ago, actually. I felt like it was so comprehensible compared to many other things I've been watching. And then there's Grand Blue, which is something that I started watching. I haven't finished because I didn't enjoy it that much. Because I didn't understand it that much. Because I didn't care. It's like an evil, evil feedback loop of not understanding, not really liking it. And then you don't really understand because you don't like it, etc. So yeah, I know. Uh, maybe it'd be fun if I understood it, but I know I, I completely phased out because I didn't understand that much. Other things I've been been consuming is uh, read a little bit of a visual novel. It's called uh, it's called Iriri Kuru Rainbow Stage. Really, really simple show uh, thing. Uh, I started reading it using a text tracker, but then I quickly didn't bother with that anymore because it was it was so simple honestly like maybe it's so rare I needed to look forward um, well in order to, to understand what was going on and therefore like I just didn't bother anymore with, uh, with the text tracker and then um, uh, I've read some manga. I don't really le read that much manga uh, anymore because it's um, reading on a Kindle is super nice, and there, therefore I've been doing that most of the time instead of reading manga. Uh, but I, th I'm, I read the, the, the Yagate Kimi uh, manga, all seven volumes in like two days, two or three days, 
and uh, it was pretty pretty good I, I understood nearly everything well at least that's what it felt like I could extract some information from each speech bubble each speech bubble and sort of get enough information in order to to know what was going on like most of the time I understood it like clearly but when I didn't if there was a word missing or anything like that I didn't need to look it up because it was clear from like the context or the picture of what was going on or it wasn't that important so I didn't bother only looked up like a few words uh, per volume in that once again also because it's a manga and it's really annoying to look at words so. mm. I also watch a lot of YouTube videos and that's like half of my immersion just let's plays on YouTube it, it feels kind of <laughs> feels kind of crappy it doesn't feel like a great immersion but it's just so uh, so you know low effort to just put on a youtube video and, and chill in the chair and lay back and, and, and relax and enjoy it um so that's like half of my immersion probably just watching weird let's plays and stuff on youtube and those are pretty like comprehensible for sure of course there's uh, always stuff that's going on in my head uh, my monolingual transition has been I, I said I went like fucking uh, what's it called uh, cold turkey six months ago I went, yeah no no English dictionaries from now on out apart from branches but it was really it's really hard so I kind of fell back on using the bilingual dictionary when I didn't understand the monolingual dictionary and that was perhaps a bit too often to be fair <clears throat> so I'm trying now really hard to not use the bilingual dictionary uh because I can, like, if I understand all the words in a monolingual uh, definition, then I'll most likely understand the word. But I'm lacking so many dictionary words. Uh, or there are so many words that I've added donkey, but they're not really, like, I haven't grasped them yet. I haven't properly acquired them. So therefore, I'm trying to do, like, more of the Shimakaidek that uh, Yoga and Math made. I'm also trying to do, just read more definitions. Like when I'm reading, uh, when I'm reading in bed, I'll, I'll use a bilingual dictionary because I just want to read and enjoy reading. And I think that's completely fine. But when I'm actively reading during the day and I'll you spend some time actually reading monolingual definitions uh, while reading, because I feel like if I made myself always use the monolingual dif dictionary when I was reading, I wouldn't read as much because it would be much higher, like a doorstep to cross in a sense uh, so therefore I'm, I'm allow, my, allow myself some some leeway there but I'm, I'm trying to to sort of go even harder here and, and force myself to use it sometimes force myself to use it when looking at words during when I'm, I'm, when I'm listening and stuff like that uh, so like and when I'm making cards like every single card I make has monolingual definition on it not a bilingual one um, but I might look at like the bilingual definition if I really don't understand the monolingual definition and I can't piece it together. Um, but I'll still leave the monolingual definition in the card, not the bilingual one. So it's it's been pretty like it's it, uh, it's a hard thing this uh, transition. Uh, but I'm I'm getting there. It's getting better every day. Uh, when it comes to output, I haven't really output anything at all. Uh, not able to output anything it's well I'm, not, I'm able to output like super simple things like i've been trying to to like formulate something in japanese formulate the thought into japanese but it's unless it's really really simple i just can't do it it's really it's kind of hard uh, so therefore i'm going to wait a little bit longer before i do more output so up until now i've been like i've been like uh, following matt's advice uh, when it comes to mm, using the mass, mass immersion approach pretty on point but uh, 10 days ago I started doing traditional production remembering the kanji simply because I have so much spare time and I wanted to <laughs> I wanted to do it I want to write eventually and I think it might help me uh, recognize things more easily as well because uh, one thing that has frustrated me uh, when it comes to not being able to like uh, 
imagine how a conjure looks, I would call it visualize how a conjure looks, um, is that when you come across a word and you mistake one kanji for another kanji, then you realize that you made that mistake. You can't go back and like visualize what kanji you mistook it for. If that makes sense. So in order to do that, you, in order to do that, you would have to look up both on, on like in like a dictionary or, or just write them out or something like that um, using a keyboard because you can't write. Um, so. I don't know if doing this will help, and also I'm I'm doing it with mostly Japanese keywords. Um, I will have the English keyword behind like a spoiler tag if I want to use it, and I don't punish myself for using it. But um, most of the time I won't, won't need the, the English keyword if I have a Japanese keyword. But there's def there's loads loads of words I don't have a Japanese key uh, keyword for, and for those I'll just use the English one. And I'll make I'll make stories for the ones without a Japanese keyword, uh, and like things that have a Japanese keyword that I didn't really remember that well. Yeah, but for for words that I see a lot and words that are I mean words I mean kanji kanji that I see a lot they I usually just look at them and write them down and take a note of which radicals uh, it uses and then I'm good. This is, of course, uh, super short intervals so far. So we'll see how it goes when the intervals get higher, get longer. And uh, uh, I'm also like saying to myself, this is super low stakes. If I, if I ever decide that it's uh, it's getting t too boring or it's not worth it, then I'll just delete it, delete that, get rid of it. It's an experiment, you know, because I want to be able to write, and this is a good time because I have so much free time and this takes up some time because i'm doing 36 a day but honestly i so far it's, it's actually enjoyable maybe it'll, it'll hit me when i reach like thousand or two thousand kanji maybe then i'll like grow tired yeah so i might make a video when i'm done or i might not um i might make a video and i give up who knows who knows mm. so quick conclusion I feel like um, I might have come across as a bit cocky here in this video, like uh, that I've understood so much. But um, at the same time, I've watched like Matt versus no, not Matt. Yeah, well, his name is Matt, but it's Brit versus Japan's uh, progress video after a year, and he was clearly better than I am. Well, at least he came across as as better than I am. And also Justin, which uh, Matt, Matt just uh, interviewed. He went super hardcore the first year, and he's obviously also better than I am. But it uh, was better than I am, because he's now he's miles above me. <laughs> uh, but um, I still think I'm like on track. If I keep doing this for a year, another year, maybe 18 months, I'll definitely become fluent, whatever that means. Um, and that's what I plan on doing. I'm going to keep going... Like five hours a day. Might get a job soon though, so then I'll have to do other things as well. Um, so yeah, I hope I didn't come across as too cocky because there's definitely still, I, I'm still garbage. <laughs> you know, I'm still, I'm still only scratching, well, I'm starting to scratch through the surface, I guess, and getting to the juicy bits. And I, I really, really feel. I love it when I watch something that's simple and the words I don't know stick out. That felt like that felt super great. Like every single word that I that is uncommon well that I don't know it sticks out. That's that was such a huge I don't know sense of improvement because up until then it's 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 all been blurry, you know. It's been really blurry, but now I could I could sort of like see yeah, I don't know that word. Uh, even without subs, you know, um, that was just feels feels amazing to be able to witness wit witness witness my progress in that way. Yeah, so uh, once again, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to add me on Discord. Um, usually on there all day, every day. Yeah, <laughs> and. Uh, 
thanks for watching if you made it to the end thank you